Welcome to the Zen Den and day four of the beginner yoga series. So number one, I just have to congratulate you for being such a yogi badass and stepping on your mat for four days in a row. That takes a lot of courage and a lot of motivation and a lot of dedication. So yeah, I applaud you. Uh, today, I really recommend or like it's almost mandatory that you first listen and follow along to the sun salutation tutorial which has also been offered um, to help you really understand the sun salutation sequence because I'm not going to go and cue it like I normally would. Today is all about flowing, okay? So it's all about linking breath with movement, understanding your body, and being your own inner teacher because you now know your body, right? Like day four, you're way more connected. So I expect you to tune in and um, follow your breath and follow my cues. Uh, for the class, I am going to be using a block and a strap. It's not mandatory, but it is recommended. Uh, a strap, you can use a towel or a scarf, and a block, you could use a book or anything this shape, okay? Let's get started. So unroll your mat if you haven't already, and let's begin our day four of the five-day beginner yoga series. Today we're going to start in tabletop pose and do some simple wrist stretches. So stacking shoulders over wrists, hips over knees, engage that low belly area, push up and out with the arm bones, and just rock forward, letting the shoulders pass the wrists, and take it back. We're warming up our wrists because we are doing vinyasas or sun salutations, and the wrists will be working. So just rocking forward and back. Taking your time. Once you kind of feel a little bit loosened up, start to make little circles going clockwise and counterclockwise. Just lubricating that whole area. Take it the other way if you haven't already. And then come back to neutral tabletop and flip the wrist so the fingers now face you. This one's a little bit deeper and just gently pull the hips back and rock it forward. Do that a few more times. So right now you should start to already be turning on your breath, inhaling and exhaling through the nose, channeling that prana, our energy all throughout the body. Prana and energy is always manifested through our breath, so the more consistent and deep we breathe, the more energy we feel throughout the body. Go ahead and flip those wrists back to neutral tabletop, moving through some cat-cows. On the inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest, open the heart. Exhale, reverse your movements, round the back, tailbone softens. I like to spider up onto my fingertips and really round into the back for cat. Inhale, come forward, cow pose. Exhale, round the back, soften the tailbone, relax, head and neck. Do two more on your own breath, inhaling to come forward. Exhaling to round. Last time, inhale, open the front side body. Exhale, open the back side body. Inhale, come to neutral tabletop. Send the right leg back and high. So it's nice and elongated. You're rolling the right hip down in line with the left. It's super active. And then gaze forward to lift the left hand straight out. Coming into Sunbird, Chakra Vakasana, and we're going to incorporate some core here too, so taking elbow to knee. On an inhale breath, grow really tall and long, and exhale, move slow, elbow to knee. You round the back here. Inhale, come forward, reach. We'll do it three times. Exhale, round elbow to knee. Hug the belly in. 
Inhale, open up. Last time, exhale, round and crunch. Inhale to open up again and listen carefully this time. Left hand comes down to the mat. Leave the right leg lifted. Let's start to strengthen up for our vinyasa, our sun salutation. Take an inhale breath. Let the shoulders pass the wrists. Exhale, chin to the mat. Elbows stay in. Single legged push up. Inhale, lift it high. Exhale, lower down. Keep that back leg lifted and strong. Inhale, lift it high. Last time, exhale, lower down, chin to the mat. Inhale, back and high. Listen carefully, this back right leg, you're gonna cross the right knee behind the left knee. Take the feet out to the edges of the mat and then start to slowly walk the hips all the way to the back and place them between the feet, okay? That was a lot of cueing. But basically, we're coming into Gomukhasana. So if you missed all that, the left knee is stacked on top of the right. The feet are coming to out to the sides of the mat. You're flexing through both toes. You should feel both sitting bones, right? But if your hips are really tight, there's a big chance you might need to stuff a block under there or a blanket. From here, locate your strap. And let's move into the Gomukhasana arms. We're gonna take the right arm, right elbow high and bring the strap into your right hand and then reach the left hand, kinda of gotta wiggle it up there and find the strap. From here, use the strap to open the chest. So send, send the right elbow up and high. We're gonna stay for three breaths. Feel free to close the eyes. Focusing on opening and expanding and making space. Two more breaths. Last inhale. Exhale, release, let it go. Just set the strap off to the side. Now this is a little bit of a doozy move, okay? So we're going to spin to the back of the mat from where we are right now. How we do this is the hands come over to the right side of the mat. From here, start to lift your toes and your feet so that you'll be able to plant them back on the ground. Take an inhale breath, lift the hips, and circle to the back of the mat. It's pretty cool, huh? Heel toe the feet together, inhale up, lift halfway, halfway lift. So that flat back action, energy through the crown of the head, Hug, low belly in. Take another inhale. Exhale, step back to tabletop pose. No biggie, right? Go through two more cat cows. Inhale, opening the chest and the heart. Exhale, rounding the back. Inhale, open. And exhale to round. Inhale back to neutral table and send the left leg back and high. Super active and strong. From here, gaze it forward, right arm reaches. Sunbird Chakra Vakasa. Take an inhale, grow long. Exhale, round and take your time, elbow to knee. Hug belly button to spine. Inhale, open up. Exhale, hug it in. Inhale, open. Exhale and hug. Inhale and open. Leave the left leg lifted. Plant the right hand down. Inhale, breath to let shoulders pass wrists. Exhale, chin to the mat. Inhale it back and high. Exhale, lower it down. The left leg stays high up in the air. Inhale it back and high. Last one, exhale, lower down. Inhale it back and high. Coming into that Gomukhasana, so really weird to get there. The left knee crosses behind the right, okay? Then you pivot the feet out to the sides as you walk the hips back in between your feet. 
right? Okay. From here, make sure both sitting bones are planted into the earth so that you can lift up nice and tall through the crown of the head. Locate your strap. This time bringing it into the left hand to start. So the left hand is gonna come back overhead. Strap is in the hand. And the right arm glides and wiggles all the way up to your back. And if your ponytail is in the way, I feel for you. So using the strap between your hands, you're going to pull in opposite directions to open through the chest. Lift the left elbow high up to the sky. We're here for three breaths. Relax as much as you can. Two more breaths. Last inhale. And release the strap on the exhale. Set it off to the side. And you're done with that thing. So here we go into that fun twist. Hands come to the left. Um, yep, we're facing the back of our mat. Come to the left side of our mat. The feet walk in a little bit and they prepare so that they're able to root down into the earth. Take an inhale breath, go tall. Exhale to twist and plant the feet and circle around to the top. Okay, that one was not as graceful as the last one, but you get the point. Heel toe the feet together. Inhale lifts up halfway, flat back. Energy through the crown of the head. Exhale and fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Sweep the hands out to the side. Palms touch overhead, grow tall, make space all throughout the spine and vertebra. Exhale, bend the knees, hands down through heart center, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, step it back, plank pose. Here we go in our sun salutation. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga, or maybe you're coming all the way to the belly. Inhale up, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, upward facing dog. Maybe you're in cobra pose. Exhale to lift the hips high. Use your stomach, your core power. Roll over the toes, downward facing dog. Whew, we're here for five breaths. It's your first time in the pose. Bicycle the feet out. Feel free to bend the knees like we've done in all the other videos so far. This first down dog should not be anywhere near your 10th down dog or your 100%. You're like at 50% of your dog right now. So just take it slow. Two more deep breaths here, wherever you are. Making sure to integrate from the wrists all the way up through the arms and the spine to your sitting bones. Back down your hamstrings all the way to your heels and toes. Another round of breaths. Open the mouth, exhale. From here, I want you to inhale the right leg straight up to the sky. You're going to exhale and hug the knee in towards the nose and plant the foot between the hands. We're coming into Virabhadrasana 1. So to come into it gracefully and um, safely, we want to pivot the back left foot down to a 45 degree angle before anything else happens. Keeping that back foot super planted and rooted, we bend deeper into the right knee and lift all the way up, warrior one. You're using that planted action to drive the knife edge of the foot down, which allows the hips to rotate and square to the front of the mat. The arms are coming straight up high. You're lifting through the sternum and chest, creating a lot of space in the low back here. Another big inhale breath. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Notice how my back foot is pivoting. So the back foot's pivoting to go parallel to the back of the mat. And then we sink down low. So hot in the Zenden, you guys. But I hope I'm equally making you sweat at home. From here, make sure that heel toe to alignment is working for you. Fingertip to fingertip, it's going out nice and long. Opening through the chest and gazing out over your middle finger. Two more breaths. Inhale to flip your right hand and exhale to reach back through the right fingertip 
as you bend deeper into the right knee. Reverse warrior or peaceful warrior. The biggest thing you want to achieve here is an opening in the right side body, okay? So not to stop the whole class and talk, but you know that's what I like to do. Um, a lot of times when you first start the yoga practice, this is what I see and this is what I used to do. This like really deep, see how all this is just like collapsing back here? You want to be opening both side body channels, okay? So we reach back through the right fingertips. We only find a little bit of a back bend on the left side and a lot of an opening on the right side. Take another inhale. Exhale, come back to warrior two and let's prepare for triangle pose. So straighten the front leg, trikonasana. You're actually perfectly set up for trikonasana right here, but most of the time, and even in my practice, this is too wide of a stance. It's just too intense. So you wanna start heel toeing the foot closer making that space between both feet a lot smaller and just more balanced and safer. If you have that block, go ahead and grab it and place it directly side by side with your front foot. Okay. I know it sounds like we're coming to something super serious, but this is a really deep posture. Before we even move into the pose, activate your front leg, like really beef it up, hug muscle to bone. Inhale the arms straight out, just like you do in Virabhadrasana 2, Warrior 2. Take an inhale breath. Exhale to reach with the front fingers as the left hip goes back and high and the right hip goes back and down, okay? So that's like a lot going on. This is what it looks like. So make sure you really get that hip action. Let's start back at the top. Hands to a T. Inhale breath. Exhale, reach through the fingertips, really making space, space, space as the hips go back and the front leg stays active. When you can't go anymore, the right hand comes down to that block and the left hand goes high as you then open the hips to the left side of your mat. You're going to really feel a big stretch on this top side of your left, your left side of your body, okay? What I want you to focus on in this posture, though, that a lot of people have mistaken is that the underside needs to also get length. So notice how when I'm here, I'm really collapsing in the right side of my body. I want you to lift up out, make space down here as well, as well as stretch on top, right? So it's always about the whole body, not just one piece. And I'm going to try and stop tutorialing. But that left hand goes straight up to the sky, take three deep breaths. Last big inhale, reach through the fingertips, open through the heart. Exhale to gaze down at the front foot, bend the knee, remove the block, and we're coming into goddess pose. Doesn't that sound dreamy? So from here, you windmill the hands around and you pop the back heel in. So toes out, heels in. Yeah, we're coming down low. The biggest thing to focus on here is not letting the knees concave in, but sending them out nice and wide to the back of the mat, grounding down through the big toe and the heels. Activate those glutes, hands to heart center. We're going to stay for 10. You can close the eyes, do what you got to do. You notice me bouncing up and down. Five more. Two more breaths. Next inhale, begin to ground down through the heels, lift up out straight in the legs, hands go to the sky, and then pivot the feet so now it's toes in, heels out, preparing for prasarita. So toes in, heels out, right? They're parallel to both sides of your mat. Interlace the hands behind your back. Inhale to puff up your chest and roll the shoulders back. Exhale, slightly bend the knees and forward fold. So let the chest melt down between the feet, the shoulders and the hands rinse over the head. And if you want, you can start to straighten the feet, the legs now. Making sure that the legs are active, you're hugging muscle to bone, and you're bringing the weight into the balls of the feet. Get out of the heels. We're taking three more breaths here. Take one more inhale here. 
and exhale, release the hands down to the mat, out in front of you. Inhale, lift the chest halfway, flat back. Exhale to walk the hands towards the front of the mat, frame the front foot. You're in runner's lunge now. On an inhale, reach the crown of the head forward. Exhale, plant both hands, take it back, plank pose. Lower down, chaturanga. Maybe you come to the belly here. Inhale up, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Maybe you're in Cobra Pose, Bhujangasana. Exhale, hug the core in, hips back and high, downward facing dog. Let's take three deep breaths here. Use this time to rein the heartbeat in, reconnect to your breath. Last big inhale. Open the mouth, let it go. Inhale that left leg back and high. Exhale, knee to nose, round the back, hug the core in, plant the left foot. The back foot goes to a 45 degree angle, preparing for that Virabhadrasana one. On an inhale breath, lift the chest high. Use that back planted foot to allow the hips to rotate forward and then your fingertips to drive the chest up. Two more breaths here. Inhale breath. Exhale, open up warrior two. The back foot comes to parallel. Fingertips reach straight out. We're stacking the knee over the ankle, okay? Making sure it's, making sure it's tractioning to the pinky edge toe. Two more breaths. Inhale, flip the front palm, and exhale, peaceful warrior, take it back, left fingertips glide along the ceiling as you open through the left side body, another inhale. Exhale, back to warrior two, and begin to straighten the front leg, moving into trikonasana. I'm so sorry I'm not facing you, but it's good that you can see a profile of both sides, front and back. So start to heel toe the back foot in, shortening your stance. Grabbing your block if you're using one. Placing it directly on the inside of your left foot. From here, hands come to that T. We firm up the front leg. Inhale, breath. Exhale to reach forward the left fingertips as the leg stays active and the hips go back. When you can't go any farther, the left hand comes down as the right arm goes high. Again, maybe spiraling up onto the fingertips to make sure you have length on both sides of the body. And then spiral the heart open and reach through the fingertips. Three deep breaths. This is one of my favorite postures. It's also a really hard posture. Lots of stuff going on here. Last inhale. Exhale to bend the knee. We're coming up to goddess pose. So lift that front hand, pop the both heels in, toes out. Now I'm going to turn around to face you. So goddess pose, toes out, heels in, sit it down low. Knees are tractioning to the back of the mat. The glutes are firing up. The core is hugging in. Shoulders are rolling back. Yeah, you're looking like a goddess. Ten breaths. Feel free to bounce it out. Close those eyes. This one's a great one. It's also a hard one. It's a temporary pose though. Five more breaths. You're halfway there. Two more breaths. Next inhale. Lift up out of those hips. Straighten the legs. Fingertips go high. Exhale, the toes come in, the heels go out, preparing for Prasarita Padottanasana. I think that's the name, wide-legged forward fold. This time I want you to bring hands to the hips, magnetize the elbows back. Notice how the chest is going to immediately puff up. Take an inhale breath. Exhale to slightly bend the knees, hug the belly in, forward fold. Keep reaching the elbows together onto the back of the mat, onto, onto the back. From here, if you have the flexibility, start to straighten into the legs, 
pushing down through the pads of the big toes, firing up the inner thighs, bringing the weight into the balls of the feet. Three deep breaths. Relax that head and neck. Last inhale. Exhale, release the hands. Inhale, lift the chest halfway. Exhale to walk the hands to the front of the mat. Step it back, plank pose. Maybe you drop the knees to lower down. Chaturanga Dandasana, 90 degree angle. Inhale up, Urdhva Mukha. No swinging forward with the chest. Exhale, activate the core to lift the hip, send it back, downward facing dog. You have five breaths here, feel free to hold your down dog, strengthen up, drop the knees down, take child's pose, or join me in chugging some water. <laughs> You've got five breaths. Halfway there. Last inhale breath. Open the mouth, let it go. Inhale to gaze forward. Here comes that hopping thing we talked about in the sun salutation tutorial. You are also welcome to step or walk, but you inhale to come up onto the toes. Exhale to bend the knees, engage the core, Hop forward. Inhale, lift up halfway, flat back. Exhale and fold. Inhale, bend the knees, sweep the arms out to the side, all the way up overhead, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands down through heart center. Moving into a little bit of standing balancing and then a little bit of core work. We're gonna start in Eagle Pose, Garudasana. So come to the center of your mat. Find your drishti point right now, so your focus point that's going to help you stay balanced throughout this little sequence we do here. From here, I like to start with the arms, because that always trips me up once I already get into the leg movement. So inhale the arms out to the sides. Exhale the right arm underneath the left. So you can stop right here and just bring both, uh, both palms of the hand, or the front of the hand, not the palm, the opposite. <laughs> Bring those to touch right here. Or if you've got a little bit more mobility, you're going to wrap the palms to one another. Once you come here, if you've still got mobility, start to make sure that the elbows are in line with the shoulders and the hands are tractioning forward. Yeah, feels real good in the back. Okay, so the arms are staying here. They're glued together. At this point, we bend the knees and sweep the left leg over. So knee stacks on top of knee, and you can hang out here. If you've got more mobility and flexibility, you wrap the left toes all the way behind the right calf. Once you come into this pose, immediately firm up. Hug muscle to bone, limb to limb, like you're holding on for dear life. Start to activate through the core, sit a little bit deeper. Really straight, nice back, nice posture, energy through the crown of the head. We're here for three more breaths. Listen carefully. Next inhale, release the hands. Bring both hands to the hips. Undo the legs, but lift the left leg up towards the chest. The right hand stays on the hips. The left fingertips are going to reach around and grab the left big toes. Here's your options. You can stand up really tall through the right leg and just lift the knee into the chest here, focusing on opening through the chest and just standing, right? Like this is hard enough. Or if you want to start working a little bit deeper, start to straighten the left leg. Notice how my right leg is bent, my standing leg. And then, if you can, begin to straighten the right leg. Okay, the knee can also be bent here, right? Two deep breaths. Whew. Focus on that drishti. One more inhale. Exhale, keep the left leg lifted. Both hands to the hips. Three breaths. Staff pose. Left leg is straight out. 
Nice posture. One more inhale, lift it higher. Exhale, let it go and shake the hips from side to side. Whew. This is quite the day four, isn't it? <sighs> All right, let's move to the other side. So Eagle Pose, Garudasana on the left side. Arms first, inhale the arms out to the side. Exhale, left arm under right. You choose, you're coming to the half bind with the hands or all the way around, palm to palm. Elbows come in line with the shoulders then send the hands to the front of the mat. From here, start to take a slight bend in the knees as you place the right foot on top of the left knee or right knee on top of the left knee. Stay here or wrap the toes all the way to the back of the shin, the calf. Can you tell I'm sweating and I'm tired? I don't even know our body parts. Once you get here, hug muscle to bone, limb to limb, three breaths. Next, inhale, unwind your hands, place the hands to the hips. Start to straighten the left leg, unwind the feet, lift the right knee into the chest. Take the right fingertips and clasp them around the right big toes. So again, everyone, let's inhale, just lift up straight and hug the knee into the chest. Roll the shoulders onto the back. This can totally be where you stay, and if I wasn't demoing this video, it'd be where I would stay right now. But if you're working more into your flexibility here, start to straighten the right leg out. Notice how my left knee bends, so you're not ripping into your hamstrings or locking out your knees. If you can, start to straighten the left leg, take two more breaths. One more inhale, exhale, release hand to hips, keep the right leg lifted, three more breaths, you got this. One more inhale, exhale and let it go, shake it out. Okay guys, last vinyasa, let's get down to the ground and end this day four on a good note. Inhale the arms up high. Exhale, bend the knees, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale up, halfway lift. Exhale, step or hop back to Chaturanga. Whatever is in your practice right now or dropping the knees down, lowering to the belly. Here we go. Exhale, go to your place. Inhale up for your back bend. Cobra pose or upward facing dog. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Take one inhale here, exhale to soften the knees down, coming into bridge pose real quick. Let's get there. So lay onto your back, keep the knees nice and bent, toes coming or heels coming in towards the glutes, palms down by your side. We're just going to lift for 10 up and down, okay? So you don't need to bind the shoulders underneath. On an inhale breath, lift your hips, drive into your heels. Exhale, lower to a hover. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hover. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hover. And you got it. Inhale, lift. Exhale to a hover. Drive down into your heels as you lift. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hover down. Engage your core as you go down. Halfway there. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift with those glutes. Engage the core on the way down. Three more. Inhale, high. Exhale to lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale and lower. Last one. Inhale, lift high. This time we hold for ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, you got it. Four, three, two, let it go. One. Let your knees just windshield from side to side for a moment. Take two more deep breaths. And then make your way back up to a seat so you can bring hands behind the thighs and just rock forward and back. 
or you can just gently sit up and meet us there. Coming into Upavista, Konasana, wide legged forward fold on the mat. So, taking the feet nice and wide, coming into a straddle like position. You might want your block here, okay? Notice how my feet, my heels, and toes are flexed because that means I'm activating my legs. Start to shimmy the hips open to your comfort level, right? So your comfort level means you should be able to sit up nice and tall. If you shimmy too far forward and you're immediately rounding through the back and collapsing and losing the integrity of the pose, let's lift back up and just hug the feet in a little bit closer to one another. But starting with the fingertips behind your back, lift up energy through the crown of the head. Keep those legs nice and active. Take an inhale breath. Exhale to reach forward through the crown of the head, but keep the spine nice and long. We're here for three breaths. This is where you might want that block to just hold on to. I lied, let's stay for three more breaths. So settle in. Two more breaths here. Keeping the legs nice and active. Toes flexing. Chest reaching forward. One more round of breath. On the inhale, begin to lift your chest back up to neutral. Let's come into some side body stretches here. So you can definitely keep your block nearby if you have it. Go ahead and just inhale to lift up a little bit taller. And exhale the right hand down inside the right thigh. Okay? From here, you want to immediately activate arm against thigh and thigh against arm. Then we inhale the left arm up and over towards the toes but really focusing here on spiraling open through the heart and not collapsing down with the end goal of reaching the toes here. So opening up through the chest, this is a really deep stretch to the left side body. Let's take three deep breaths. Next inhale, use your core, lift all the way up, push off that right hand and just right over to the other side. Left forearm comes down inside the left thigh, and the right arm reaches over. Spiraling that heart open, finding a lot of length in the side body, active legs still, two more breaths. Last inhale. Exhale, stay. Inhale, lift all the way up, and just swing both legs to the front of the mat. And windshield away from side to side. Let that go. Let's come into one forward fold before we make our way down to our final postures. Removing the flesh out from underneath you. Finding your sitting bones. Fingertips into the earth. Sit up nice and tall. Inhale the arms high. Exhale to reach forward. Really come out of your pelvis. So you want to Lift up out of those hips bones, hip, hip bones, lift up out, exhale and reach for what you can. You can grab your strap here, inhale a little more to gain length and exhale and fold. Active legs, active arms, bellies hugging in. This is not a relaxing, let it go posture. You're working here. Three more breaths. One more inhale. And now exhale to bend the knees slightly and bring them in closer, the feet in closer, and wrap the arms underneath. And now this is a feel-good pose. Just relax the forehead down in between the knees. One more breath here. Go ahead and release. 
and relax all the way down onto your back. And we're just going to go straight into Shavasana because we've worked really hard and we're ready to restore and relax. So any last movements you need to do, water adjustments, do that now. And then make your way all the way down onto your back. Take the feet as wide as your mat. Palms down by your sides. Let's just start at the bottom. So relax the toes and the ankles. Let them just flop out to the side. Soften your calves and your knees and your thighs. Let it go. Relax the front of the hips, the glutes, the belly and the chest. Let it soften. Fingertips, wrists forearms, elbows, let it go, upper arms, shoulders, back of the neck, relax and make space, the jaw and the tongue, completely let that go, let it relax. The skin on your face, your forehead, your eyebrows and your eyes, soften and surrender. From here, take one more inhale. And exhale into Shavasana. Without moving the body, start to take deeper breaths. Expanding the lungs, filling the heart, filling your soul with that prana, that energy. Once you feel full of breath, invite small movements, the toes and the fingertips. And circle the ankles and the wrists. And on an inhale, stretch the arms back nice and long. Bring the feet together. Feel that sense of accomplishment and renewal. Exhale to bend the knees and shift the hips, coming into fetal pose. On whatever side feels good for you, bottom arm is your pillow. Relax back into the space. Savoring this last moment of time with yourself on your mat. And taking this connection off the mat into your day. On an inhale, lift your chest high. Meet me back in seated pose. Once you get to seated pose, sit up nice and tall, energy through the crown of the head, hand to heart center. We'll close with that universal vibration of OM. Take a big inhale breath in through the nose. Om. Oh. 
delight in me, honors and respects the courage for you to step on your mat, reconnect with your body, and learn how to flow. Namaste, yogis. I'll meet you back here tomorrow for day five of the beginner yoga series. Same time, same space. It's our last day, so let's do the damn thing. Have a wonderful day.